All right, so here we are simplifying and everything with exponent laws. So you look at it, right, and if you see negative exponents, you immediately start moving things. For example, 2 to the negative third. This one, it has a negative exponent, so to get rid of that negative, we bring it down. So now I cross it out here, and now it's going to be down here without the negative. I have g to the negative third. Okay, so that's also a negative. This one, i got to move it up, so I get rid of that negative. I'm going to cross it out now. Okay, now I see that to the zero power. Every time I see something to the zero power, all of it, like even the letter, both things cancel out and they become just a number one. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite all this mess. Now at the top, I have g to the fifth times the one and then times g to the third. And at the bottom, I have two to the third power and v squared. Okay? Now I'm going to um, multiply the numbers that I can and then put the, the letters that are alike. I'm going to put them together. So here I have two g's. When we're multiplying and they have the same base, in this case a g, remember we add the exponent. So here I'm going to have g to the eighth. And then times 1 would give me also g to the 8th. So I ignore the 1 because anything times 1 is the same thing. At the bottom, 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2. So that gives me 8 and then v squared. I look at my new thing and then I say, do I have the same basis anywhere that I can combine? No. No negative exponents? No. No simplification of numbers? No. So now I am finished and this will be the simplified form.